Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel, coming at you with another random reading. They are my loving and most highest vibrational angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, totems, and guardians. I ask that you clarify this message from you through me. Cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration as I deliver this message to my collective. And cover my collective in the whitest light from the highest vibration as they receive this transmission. Gratitude, gratitude, and gratitude. All right, I'm moving these cards out the way from my last reading. Let me go ahead and shuffle again so y'all can see. But um, basically, I was getting another message in as I was ending up my last video. And it's about um, basically how it's some people out there who be getting their ass whipped by their own ancestors. I'll just put it like that. So um, basically, they tried to go against a divine feminine or a divine masculine within their bloodline, within their family tree, like um, a mother trying to go against a son or a daughter or um, a sibling or something like that um, in the name of uh, spirituality or whatever it was that they was doing. But whoever this person is that was fucking with a divine person and or their divine union, um, they're basically being removed from the bloodline. Like these ancestors don't want to work with them anymore. They're only fucking with them. They're probably getting a lot of like nightmares and shit from these ancestors or they're not seeing them in dreams anymore at all, period. Or they don't feel their presence at all, period. They're lighting candles all they want to and ain't shit happening. They look like an altar behind her, don't it? They lighting candles and ain't shit happening. You could put as many glasses of water on your fucking altar as you want to. It's not going to create no portals to bring them back in. It's just not going to happen. The moon card right there. It ain't going to create no portals to bring them motherfuckers back in. Uh, nothing. I'm going to name this one. Somebody's getting their ass whipped by their own ancestors. <laughs> Six of wands here. So we have some sort of victory and success. We have the nine of cups and the moon. The nine of cups is Piscean energy and so is the moon. The six of wands is Leo energy. So somebody could have like a Pisces moon. It could be like a Leo with a Pisces moon or um, somebody that has like double Pisces in their chart, like Leo and double Pisces in their chart um, in prominent placements. This could be, but whoever this person is, is very secretive. They do a lot of shit in the dark, like a lot of secret shit. Libra energy right there, four swords. <clears throat> I'll show y'all. <laughs> I see the devil poking. <laughs> I'm telling you, these motherfuckers is toxic as fuck. And these damn family members couldn't wait to be unbound from these motherfuckers. I'm telling you that shit. Look, king of cups right there. That is a, um, cups speaks about spirit things like that i feel like that is one of the ancestors that is representative of one of the spirit ancestors um or soul you know what i mean like the cups is soul and the wands is spirit um so masculine love very loving ancestor could have been a father or um a grandfather um yep yeah, we got the seven of swords here and it wanted to come out in reverse Mm, 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 mm. that's Aquarius energy somebody has been outed put on blast whatever plans they had to have some sort of like victory over a situation or over someone that they was trying to do or manipulate or some shit in the dark it ain't work out like that boo boo it ain't work out like that seven of wands them damn ancestors came and stood up for the right person Clarify the nine of cups. Nine of wands. Nine of cups being clarified by the nine of wands. That's Sagittarius energy. That's also the energy of somebody that just won't stop. Somebody is put in a, had put a lot of uh, energy, emotion, all type of shit into whatever this was that they was doing in the dark. All this secretive shit that they had going on in the dark. Somebody was putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into this shit. Could have been in reference to a Libra because we have two nines out here. Y'all know that's for me bringing things into balance. And that's coming out over the four swords, which is Libra energy. Uh, you know, maybe a Libra with Sag or something in their chart. But um, what's this? The moon card being clarified by the tower. All these secrets. 
tower, powerful realization, all that shit that somebody was doing in the dark, all that shisty ass bullshit, shady shit, the moon operating out of dark energy and shit like that. Um, probably fucking with like low vibrational ancestors or having the ancestors that was on your team on your side that you was using their energy and shit like that. Having them do like programming their energy to to work for you in the dark. I just saw five two five like they was done with that nine of wands. That they done. They over with that shit. They like hell nah. They couldn't wait for somebody else to raise up vibrationally in the family so that they could jump ship. If you get what I'm saying. Look, five of swords right here. Being clarified by the six of wands. See, this person was gaining shallow victories. This person was gaining shallow victories using these damn ancestors. Or claiming to use these ancestors. Because these motherfuckers could have very well been working with the dark side. Things that know how to cloak themselves as something divine. Alright. Clarify the four of swords. That shit finna get put to rest, though. We got the fool right there clarifying the four swords. Um, come on, give me another one, cause that don't matter. Ooh, <laughs> the devil card. Four swords. And look at what's coming out over the king of cups, the queen of pentacles. So it could be this queen of pentacles with this pinnacle that she has in her hand. Usually the queen of pentacles, this pinnacle represents something physical in her hand, such as like, you know, a tarot card, a crystal ball, something like that. Something that helps this person to tap in. Um, so I could be speaking in reference to or about a tarot reader. Um, this king of cups, he has his cup, his, his, his whole love, his intuition, all of that right there in his hand. So, um... This Queen of Cups, look, she's got her eyes closed. She's communicating. She has very fertile, abundant um, connection with the divine here. Um, she's a healer. She's very knowledgeable, very practical, um, very sensible, very, very, very intelligent here. Um, an earth angel, so to speak. Um, very nurturing, very caring, very loving. Um, I believe the ancestors would prefer to mount that whoever this is this earth sign uh capricorn towards virgo i prefer the I, I believe the ancestors with this king of cups right here um her clarif being clar clarifying the king of cups um i think that the ancestors would prefer to mount her vessel i wanted to say it correctly the way that they was telling me in my head they would prefer to mount her vessel over yours her her vessel the vibration is higher they're bringing me back to um a lot of the times they want me to tell you a lot of times um you know when you, when i sleep um i could tell that i was going through an ascension months back um at some point because constantly every time i would wake up i could feel my body vibrating okay um i i literally felt my body vibrating at a different level um when it was time for me to change things around me um you know your body has to adjust to the new vibrations that you have going on when you ascend um we have the emperor right here being clarified by the seven of swords so somebody who just wanted to be look the seven of swords is out here in reverse we got the five of swords out here we have the emperor and the six of wands first and the devil card is out here basically this is somebody who was trying to win by any means necessary who was doing a whole lot of shady shit in the background who put a lot of time effort and energy into fucking this person over or fucking over these ancestors and they don't like it i feel like this queen of pentacles right here that that, that pinnacle in her hand could very well be ancestor money y'all know i sell ancestor money on my website people could buy ancestor money you know you burn it you do what you do with it that right there could be ancestor money and the king of cups was like oh i accept <laughs> Oh, I accept. But you know, you got these controlling ass family members that was trying that ain't did shit but lie on the on your name, on your energy, knowing that you was pure, knowing that you was all the way tapped in, tried to make you seem like you was dark and shit like that. Um, with this devil card and the tower. I'm gonna put the devil back because I was just um using that to clarify. But what's this tower still? Five of Wands in reverse. Clarifying the tower and the moon. This Leo energy right here. Like I said, it won't no competition. It won't no competition. This person tried to put themselves in competition with you. 
this um, parental energy here, this controlling energy with the emperor being right here, clarifying the seven of swords. This person thought they had it all in the bag, okay? Seven of swords is somebody who plots and plans and makes sure all the, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Well, this emperor right here was so fucking smart, he was stupid. So fucking smart, he was dumb. <laughs> Shit got put all the way on blast. Everybody that this person done hurt. That shit got put on blast, probably on a public platform with the Six of Wands or in front of a group of people. Either that or everybody or everybody that this person has gained uh, victory and success, um, you know, by doing them dirty. Everybody's starting to come together. This emperor can't do shit no more. And it's also been outed that this emperor right here is the phony, the fake, and the fraud. If this emperor has some sort of business, a spiritual business or something like that, this person has been exposed as being fake. Judgment right here, queen of swords. That could be a lawyer and an actual judgment in court. <clears throat> Six of cups I see poking out. Um, so this person could be like having a bunch of lawsuits and shit. Clarify the Seven of Swords Reverse Emperor. The Chariot. I said having a bunch of lawsuits. And y'all know the Chariot is the feds or the police. That's a police car or the feds. Or <laughs> Wow. So we see who the real boss motherfucker is. It's this Queen of Pentacles and not this Emperor that was faking to be the boss. See, the only reason why this Emperor got away with looking like they was the boss for so long was because they were controlling. People were scared of them. They they controlled people, okay? They, they had motherfuckers by the balls here with the Six of Cups in the past, but not no more. Hermit, that's the Spirit God card. And what's this right here? Two of Cups. That's divine communication. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. This Queen of Pentacles was sitting down doing what she needed to do while this fucking Emperor energy was over here. You might have, or, or this person may have like Aries in like a karmic placement or some sort of karmic placement in Aries. Like Lilith or um, some shit. Whatever it is, these motherfuckers is not fucking with y'all no more. They have moved on. <laughs> they moved on. You know, this is the spirit guide card. This is being divinely guided to move forward, to move on. And this is the spirit guide right there on the back, moving the person forward. And all of those swords that's in front of this person is what's protecting this person. Okay. Um, and that comes after the five of swords. You know, six of swords is like somebody who, yeah, you, you your guides are telling you to move forward, move on. But at what cost? You know, Six of Swords comes after Five of Swords. You was just hurt to the core. It took somebody, like, causing so much pain and hurt in a bunch of people's lives. And for them getting put on blast for what the fuck they've been doing for shit to have to calm down. And it shouldn't have been like that. We have the Hierophant right here. I'm going to see why that's out there. What's the Hierophant for? That's Taurus energy. Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Still movement forward. Um commitment being committed um that could also be coming into union coming into contracts now this queen of pentacles now um possesses the ability to use the energy of these ancestors here with the four of pentacles um it was only right knight of cups and knight of wands yes these energies they they in it to win it, okay? They're offering up their loving energy. They're offering up their fighter energy. They're offering up their protector energy. They're offering up everything. And it's going to boost this Queen of Pentacles to Empress status. Or it has or already has um, boosted this Empress to uh, this uh, Queen of Pentacles to Empress status. Now, this Emperor over here pissed the fuck off. Sitting in Seven of Swords energy because everybody know about all the sneaking and lying and cheating and dirt that this motherfucker been doing in the background and tried to get away with it and actually has gotten away with it a few times with that Five of Swords clarifying the Six of Wands. This motherfucker got away with a lot of shit before they finally gave up. And the only reason they gave up, Chariot, because the feds was watching. I don't know what the fuck that got to do with the feds, but... That emperor could be like a politician. 
you know hey look don't think that it's just people on the internet on tiktok on youtube stuff like that that fuck around with tarot cards and shit like that do y'all not understand that like high-ranking government officials and shit like that be getting readings and <laughs> celebrities and shit like that be getting readings and having work done on people and try to get work cleared off of them like magician what i said trying to have work cleared off them magic manipulation all type of shit that's been done to them that they don't even know about behind their back shit that's been sent here to slow their money down hovering or monitor spirits that's been sent to their home that they got to clear out with this page of swords it's just all types of shit that people been going through look at this they think that everything is fine. Meanwhile, everybody around them is stabbing them in the back, smiling in their fucking face, shit like that. Like, no more with the manipulation. The ancestors are fucking tired of that shit. They're tired of their energy being misused. And it was misused one too many times. And I feel like this tarot reader, Queen of Pentacles, Empress, whoever the fuck this is, warned these people. Warned whoever this was with the moon and the tower. That was a warning. Don't you fuck with that shit on the full moon. You know this last full moon was what? Last Saturday? And they did that shit. Again. And they ain't get shit out of it. What's the tower on the moon? They've been warned one too fucking many times. The ancestors said. Queen of Wands in reverse. This bitch was doing moon magic. Witchery. This bitch is a dark witch. With the Queen of Wands being in reverse. And it's because this person operates out of their own insecurities. That's why this motherfucking emperor, this emperor could be a female. That's why this emperor <clears throat> wants to have control. Because that's part of their insecurity. Part of their insecurity is um, losing control of things and people around them. Another part of the insecurity could be um, um, abandonment issues. Hmm. Whatever it is, this person does glamour magic. They wear makeup all the motherfucking time. Like this person cares only about how they look on the outside, um, how people around them look. They may even make comments about how people around them look, even children. They'll make a comment on a child that just came in from outside whose hair is messed up. Like, I don't, like are you fucking kidding me? Like bullshit like that. I mean, that's just an example. I don't know. So what's the Tower and the Moon card here? Basically, the Tower and the Moon card is this motherfucker was still doing um, did some sort of magic under this last full moon. Again, it was the last full moon of the year. Chariot card keeps coming out here. They may have done something to your car um, with a circle of friends here, but whatever it was, it literally threw these ancestors out of the way. Like the Chariot is that's movement forward okay the world card is completely ending the chapter is done it's over with it's done so all this witchery and moon magic and all this bullshit tower moments that this person been trying to cause that shit reversed and came right the fuck back on them and now none of these damn ancestors is working with this person i don't know who they being led by but i don't see not man spirit guide out here the only person i see out here is this king of cups which represents like having full and total control over your intuition um being able to tap in like like that you know um and, and use that energy for good for healing and things like that and that's it but i don't see no other like divine guidance out here except for the six of swords and like i said that's still for y'all seven of pentacles so what's the seven of pentacles for Four of Wands. Someone may be investing in moving, investing in a house. Um, but they want to keep that. Sorry if I just outed you. But they want to keep that on the low here. Um, with the Two of Swords being right there in Libra. Or somebody doesn't know about a house. Ace of Cups. Damn. Ace of Cups, here we go. King of Pentacles, that's the that's the divine counterpart. That could be, this Ace of Cups could also be a spirit baby. 
of this king and queen of pentacles this king of uh, this king of cups um ancestor energy over here could help bless them or could be actually holding their spirit baby you see this is um in the hands of like a divine hand so um with the seven of pentacles right here it's like waiting for uh this manifestation um to happen you're not gonna know when it's gonna happen i feel like this seven of pentacles four of wands uh, two of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. I feel like all of this is about um, a baby, a spirit baby that is going to come. Um, it could be this ancestor that's going to come back as um, this King and Queen of Pentacles son. Or like I said, this masculine ancestor could be holding this Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles son. Because the Queen of Pentacles can also, and the Empress can also be somebody who's um, pregnant or had a baby. At the end of the day, people know who the real, true, divine feminine is. Not this motherfucker that's over here playing around with glamour and magic and witchery and shit like that. It's this Queen of Pentacles, Empress, uh, King of Cups energy over here that is healing, helping, um, building, growing. Justice. Libra energy again. Justice, Five of Pentacles, Taurus Energy, what's that? Ten of Swords, Four of Cups. Y'all gonna get justice for whatever this motherfucker was doing to you. Uh, they probably had y'all asses like on some sort of altar. I'm gonna be real, real serious with y'all. That This person, whoever this was, invested in having y'all on some sort of altar um to keep you in a lack mindset to keep you overlooked